Human brain. Our brain is the size of a large grapefruit, but it looks like a large pinkish grey walnut. The brain is one of the most amazing parts of our body. Every day it allows us to do many activities like read printed words, cause us to breathe, remember colors, determine the rhythm of our heart, remind us to blink. Remember how to play a game, ride a bike, etc. The brain has three important parts. They are forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. Forebrain. The forebrain is responsible for a variety of functions, including receiving and processing sensory information, thinking, perceiving, producing, and understanding language. And controlling motor function. Midbrain, the midbrain connects the hindbrain and the forebrain. This region of the brain is involved in auditory and visual responses as well as motor function. Hindbrain, the hindbrain consists of the medulla oblongata, the pons, and the cerebellum. The medulla oblongata is really a continuation of the spinal cord. And it is responsible for controlling autonomic functions such as breathing, heart rate, and digestion. The pons carries impulses from one side of the cerebellum to the other and connects the medulla and cerebellum to other brain regions. Cerebellum. Certain voluntary movements are under control of the cerebellum. Cerebellum helps in maintaining the posture. Other activities like picking up a pen, driving a car, riding a bicycle, and walking in a straight line are some of the activities of cerebellum. How is brain protected? The brain is protected by a bony case called the cranium or skull. Inside the bony box, cerebrospinal fluid forms a cushion between the soft brain tissue and the hard cranial bones. How is spinal cord protected? The spinal cord is an extension of the brain that runs down the middle of the back. It is protected by 33 bones called vertebrae. The brain and the spinal cord are called the central nervous system. The cranial nerves and spinal nerves form peripheral nervous system.